Hello everyone, part number nine. It's time to connect the back end with the front end. And yeah, and see the power of GraphQL and also Apollo. So uh, before we start, I just want to make sure that uh, when you go to the repo, like you, here, you see the master is always the latest version and stuff like that. But here, when we, you, example, you, you want to see at the, some episode, you can just look at this place and you're going to see the code at this point. I just want to make sure uh, everyone understands this part. So again, the repo is always in the description. After that, for this part, we're going to need this tool, React Native Debugger. So for install that, for the Mac OS, you can install that by doing brew update and all this kind of stuff here. And for the uh, Windows, I think you just need to uh, delete on the release page. So you go to uh, the release and you download this thing. So just follow all this pattern. I'm going to put the link in the description too. Why are we going to need that? Because it's going to be easier for us to debug with Redux and all this stuff. <clears throat> so the plan of today is to take this all my like all my face here and my tweet to become the tweet we have saved in the DB. So uh, we want to have all the data coming in from this Apollo call here from here. But before doing that, because I don't want to do the authentication right now, like just the part, because I just want you to, to see the power of Apollo before that, just go to your server, open your server code, go there and comment out this line here. Line 15, await require out on the get tweet. Just remove this one for now, because I don't want to add the GWT token for now. We're going to make that on like two, uh, two different ports. So now we are there. So now we need to make a call, get the data, and fill this up with the data. So how we can manage that? First thing is we need to create the queries. And uh, this is so easy. I mean, this is the, I mean, I think it's the most easy thing I've ever seen. You put GraphQL here. I'm going to create a, a folder GraphQL. I'm going to call another folder called queries. queries. And in this one, I'm going to call get tweets. So that's going to be my query called get tweets. So my plan finally is just to have this query right there. So what I can do is look at that. I select everything. I take it. I import here GQL from, nope, not Grum, but from React Apollo. And now export default GQL. And now paste it here, bit pre there, shift, we have the queries. That's it. Nothing more. I mean, that's just crazy. So, yeah, I mean, we are almost done. But, I mean, uh, the query is done. So, now what we need to do is to plug this thing on this own uh, screen here. So, how are we going to manage that? It's we need to uh, import the GraphQL. So, import from React Apollo. Here, the graph QL uh, package here. After that, you're gonna wrap your graph QL with the home screen, like that. And now we need to import the query we just built. So I, I always put my queries uppercase. I'm gonna say get tweets queries. So I know this is a query. So when that's gonna be a mutation, I'm gonna say mutation coming from graph QL queries get to, uh, tweets. Take it and paste it there. If you save, now we're going to see nothing, but we just make the queries. If you don't, trust me, all we can see that. Now we're going to need to do uh, some change in the package JSON because Expo don't use the same local host, the same port of the React Native by default. So what you need to do is create. And now here I'm going to call something called debug. So this debug uh, script is going to be to open the RN debugger debugger yeah and we're gonna say set debugger set the what's it debugger lock i'm gonna say host equal local host port equal one nine zero zero one but i need to put this inside single quote like that what is this thing? So first thing, I'm going to put that in the description. I don't want you to type that and get the error. But this thing 
it's for opening the debugger in the good part for make use of the React Native uh, uh, debugger. So I'm going to open the React Native debugger. So this is the tool we just put. And now the thing I need to run, it's right there in my mobile side. So I'm going to see the mobile. I'm going to run yarn debug. Perfect. Now I'm pointing at 19001. So now what I can do is say command D and I can click on debug remote GS. And now look, if you see console was clear, that's perfect. That means that's work now. And now if you see everything is connected and now look connected to react. Now we have the react component and also we have the state here because of when I was at this place here, we set up in the store. I set up compose with dev tool with Redux dev tool. So now if we see the React Native debugger, now we have all the data. So this is everything. We have it in the front end now. The front end have it. Just for showing you, right there, I'm going to search for home screen. And I'm going to see data here. And I'm going to see get tweet an array of 12 and MN with everything we need. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to just make that a bit bigger for you. Yeah. So this line of code, I'm going to put that in the description, just copy and pasting that. So you see, just pretty simple what they do. But you need to have the, the, the tool installed. So again, this, uh, that's going to be inside the, the description. So now what here I can do? First thing, I want to show loading. And I also want to have my feed stuff. So what I can do, it's here, we're going to have access. So here, oh, I can show you that. Here, I have that at this, that pub, that, 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 and here I'm gonna have the loading with false now. And when it's load for the first time, it's gonna be true. So, what we can do is first thing, we're gonna destructure the data from the props. Also, after that, what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say if data that loading, if data that loading, so if loading is true. I'm going to take the activity indicator coming in already from React Native. So activity indicator. Uh, indicate, yeah, you see what I mean? Sorry with my accent. I'm going to return here the root. And I'm going to say activity indicator. And I'm going to say size of large for now. Now if I save, look what's going to happen. Right there. You see the loading? Boom. So when that was loading, we get... Uh, the, the stuff but again this stuff it's not the real one because again this is this stuff here so we need to change that because we want performance react native i've created flat list which is so much better than scroll view always use flat list if this is a lot of stuff you're gonna king i'm using scroll view like for little kind of animation and stuff where i need to have uh, like two three elements but when i need to have like many elements i'm gonna maybe have a thousand tweet here i'm gonna use the flat list so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all this stuff here and I'm going to put my flat list. So the flat list needs some elements. The first element here we're going to just put is the content container style and I'm going to just say align uh, self to be stretched because I want to make sure the list take full, the full size of the screen. After that you need the data. So the data here is going to be data is just a plain array. So you see it just, it just need to be a, a and an array uh, of everything so what i can say it's data so they're coming from here now that get tweets if you don't see why i came with the get tweets first thing get tweets you will get the name of this thing and if you look and you react native debugger right there and you type again home screen data that get tweet become the array of 12 elements perfect but now that don't gonna do nothing Another thing I can do too, it's key extractor used to extract a unique key for a given item at the specific index. So that need to be a unique key and this is really important. So oh, I can do this, it's here because I'm going to have my item as an object. Now what I can say is I want it to be the item that ID because we're going to get the ID because if we look at the uh, get tweet, we ask for the ID. So now, how can I render item? So this place is going to be pretty simple. What I'm going to do, it's I'm, I'm going to call here a function called render item. This function, I'm going to call another function called render item. Now here what I'm going to do, so for now I'm going to remove the state. I don't need the state. I'm going to say render item. Here I'm going to destructuring the item because that be coming as an object with the item inside. And now I'm going to call my feed card. I'm going to see here, I'm going to put 
dot 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 item. So now what you see there, it's nothing have changed. But now if we calculate the number of elements, the number of elements is less because this is all the real number we get from the back end. But why I still see my face if you were? Why that? Because yes, I gave the item to my feed core, but I don't use it as a prop. It's gonna be pretty simple now. What we need to do is we're gonna jump on the, the um, we're gonna jump on the feed core. And the thing that we're gonna need to, to, to make is use the variable we have built on top, but make it with the real variable coming in from the, 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 the stuff. And just for showing you, here you see the text, it's all the same. So now here I'm gonna destructuring the text. If you don't know where I get this text, if you now if you search feed card like that, and you search one who's gonna be feed cards. So feed card, now look here, my props. Now I have all the props coming in, LOL1, that was mine, and stuff like that. So I'm sorry if this is really um, like small, I cannot, I tried uh, this morning to change it, but it is not working, but now I have access to that real text. And now I can delete this one, and now look, I'm gonna save, and now the text become the text we have in the back end. And if you look, LOL3, LOL2, and now this is the real, text. If we look at the graphical, that's the real one. Hello world 3, hello world 2, and the real stuff. So now we have dynamic data. So now I'm going to change, first thing I'm going to change the top. I'm going to change all the user stuff. So here the user came as an object. So again, feed card, search feed card. Yeah, maybe this one will be bigger. Feed card now here I have an object where I have my user, where I have the avatar, first name, last name, and username. And why I get an object about a user, it's because again in the get tweet I ask here the object of the user. So now what I can do, it's here, I'm gonna take the user and I'm gonna send everything about the user here like that. By doing the dot 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 user here, what happening to my feed card headers? It's now my feed card headers gonna have access oops sorry too much stuff now feed card header now I have access to username avatar and stuff like that if I was saying just uh, user equal curly bracket user I'm gonna need to destructuring that from user but now I can have access to it so now just for showing you now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say username first name and last name I'm gonna remove it from here and now if I save that's gonna be the real username, the real first name, the real last name coming from your user from the text. Here, that's still mine because I have three texts, but now look, Jody, Frini, Alexandra, blah, 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 and now you see this is the one coming in from the user. Now I want to have the, the avatar, and because my user didn't have an avatar because we didn't upload image, I'm gonna say if I have an avatar, I show the avatar, else I show the fake avatar. So now, we're gonna get to the point where now my first one gonna have my face, but now if we look, we have the one coming in from the DB where we get from random user. Perfect, we did a good point here. Now, the create app. I'm gonna just remove that. I'm gonna go to feed core. I'm gonna see create app because I have access to it. I'm gonna send that here by doing this. But now in my headers, if I have the create app, look what's gonna happen. If I say create app now, the create app gonna came as a, st a string date, really bad, not human really, really bad. So for doing that, we have a, a beautiful package called date if f and s. It's like moment js but smaller. I like it much more. I think smaller and make more sense to to work with this one. It's pretty simple to, to add and they have a pretty good amount of uh, function. So what we're gonna do, go back to your feed core headers. At the top here, we're gonna import distance in words to now from date FNS, uh, distance in word to now, like that. 
Now we're gonna take this distance to date from now. I'm gonna wrap my create app with that. And now I'm gonna put I go from here. Nothing more to do. And now look what's gonna happen. Load. That's uh, your app gonna be slow right now because we have the debugger open, but it's gonna be pretty faster after that. But now look, seven days ago, seven days ago, seven days ago. So this is the, a good, a beautiful date, I think. This a date we, we can read all of them. So now perfect. Now what we can do too is to change this value to, to the feed car. So again, in the feed tweet, we have favorite con. So now I can come here. I'm gonna destructuring favorite con. I'm gonna pass it here, favorite con right there. And now I'm gonna go to my feed card button. I'm gonna take favorite count from here and I'm gonna move here. So now everything gonna be at zero because we didn't favorite, like nothing has been favorite. Uh, I think maybe some, nope, nothing has been. But now, like I told you, that's the real data. So I think that was a good point for today, for this one video, I mean. Now we have this thing. Now, what I want to do for the next one, it's we're gonna make use of the placeholder loading as I show you in the introduction. So this is what we're gonna add for this stuff, for the, 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 for the home page. And also, we're gonna manage the is favorite for see if the user are favorite. So this thing's gonna be uh, red and stuff like that, but maybe this part, I'm gonna push it further. So, because we need to have the the um, the authentication working first because we're gonna add as the viewer so i hope you enjoyed this uh, part again all the this the link gonna be in the description i hope you enjoy please like and we talk later have a good day bye